What is a ghost's favorite Looney Tunes character? The Phantasmanian Devil. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Happy Monday, my friends. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me tonight. Sorry we're running real late. It was, uh, well, I got here as quickly as I could. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, uh, thank you for being here. We've got two games tonight. We've got Ghost Slayer and our continuing We Wear Marathon. I uh, don't know what this game is, just like most of the rest. So, uh, we're going to dive into it and find out together. We probably won't give this game a ton of time tonight because... Uh, because I showed up so late, and I want to make sure we have plenty of time for our uh, second game, Tears of the Kingdom. But uh, let me welcome everyone in. We've got Stack Cat is first in chat tonight. Welcome in, friend. Uh, it's so late. What is time? Dead Zergling close behind. Welcome in, Zergling. Lucent Jelly, thank you for being here as always, and thank you for the coffee. And welcome in, Mile Hyrule. Cats were acting wild. <laughs> I mean, that is that is something that they will do. <laughs> so, uh, the wheel, the wheel of Scorchin is finally back. Um, we're going to start with our first spin of the night. It's got several old items on it, but also several new things, some of which are very scary to me, <laughs> and I am, I am dreading landing on. So uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, get our first spin over with. I don't know if you can read the wheel very easily on the screen. Some of the stuff has like the names are hard to fit on there, and my marker wasn't working very well, so they're very dull. Like the purple ones, I don't know if you can read those at all. You'll just have to take my word for whatever it is. First to request the new and improved wheel. <laughs> yeah, there's tons. There's tons of new stuff on it. I mean, don't worry. Everyone's favorite, the candy buttons are still there. Most of the candies are still there. I think that's what rolled over more than anything. In fact, I think that's all that rolled over. Is the, the jelly beans, the toxic waste, the warheads, and the candy buttons. And then everything else is new. There are actually ten unique things. There's nothing doubled up anymore. Um, there's some sauces on there. The sauces I expect to be quite mild. Um, I got a huge box of like 20 different sauces and all these like tiny little bottles. And so I'm going to, I'm working my way through the, I'm going to work my way through them slowly in what I expect to be heat level order. <laughs> so they're going to start off pretty mild. But uh, let's see, I might not even land on one of those. I might not even land on anything new. I landed on the thing I'm most terrified of. <laughs> I landed on the hottest thing on the wheel. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> this is a bad idea. <laughs> Who put this wheel on the stream? <laughs> hey, Claire, welcome in. Thank you for the uh Thank you for the resub, Claire. Thank you for the uh for the two months. I win Twitch, Zergling says. <laughs> Short stream. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So this is uh, this jerky. Let me find. I've got the bag around here somewhere. I mean, maybe it's all hype. Maybe it won't be that bad at all. I got a bag of this jerky. It's got a dinosaur skeleton on it. it calls itself Inferno X. Jurassic Jerky. I don't know. Made with Carolina Reaper, the hottest pepper in the world. So I am going to eat a very small bite of this jerky. 
and I've actually got it pre-portioned into very tiny pieces. And uh, let's pick one out. I'll pick one of the larger ones, but uh, they are just, you know, bite-sized pieces. It smells like jerky. We're here for the instant wheel strats. I can't believe. The odds were 1 in 10, and I landed on the worst thing on the first spin. That is that is horrific luck. The wheel is cursed. <laughs> All right, well, here we, hopefully it's not as spicy as advertised. Very chewy. That's another reason to take very small bites. All right. It does have some heat to it. It's not... It wasn't instantly horrible, but it's not nothing. Yeah, that's got a little bit of heat to it. <laughs> oh. We're not at... We're not at sunflower seed levels. But I can definitely feel it. I feel it in my stomach more than I do in, like... It's burning a little bit in my mouth. It's just, it's a low, a low, dull burn. Small bites of this are, ma are very manageable. If I were to eat bite after bite after bite, I would really hate this. I would be in a lot of pain. It's not bad though for a single for a single bite. It is kind of upsetting in my stomach though. All right. Well, the most the most fearsome thing on the wheel was not that bad. So that's good. <laughs> We noticed you have the wheel portioned out in 90 minute intervals, so we can't stack it up on you precisely. Carolina Reaper is a slow burn from what we hear. It's all right. It's all right. I, uh, I didn't hate that. That was, uh, that was, that was manageable. That was survivable. <laughs> So the uh, the the Carolina the Inferno X beef jerky is uh, that's decent. I actually might enjoy landing on that again. All right, let's get my big head out of the way, and let's see what this uh, see what this game has for us. We love that the skeleton is now wearing his alien costume. Of course. Isaac is, a. Uh... Isaac's always ready to get into the Halloween spirit. <laughs> He's looking good. A and B. This game is very dark. Hmm. 
mission, high score, settings, credits. Let's look at our oh, settings and the effects up and the music down just a little. Save slot number three, right in the middle. Ah, no characters. Okay. Um, I mean, is there any difference between these two? <laughs> uh, go with the one on the left. You want to create this game data? Yes. All right, we're looking at eight stages with three layers of difficulty. I have a feeling this is going to be a very motion control heavy game. <laughs> Level 1, novice rank, 3 HP, 1 power, I guess. Uh, please, please choose to play the game with or without Wii Motion Plus. Well, my controller says it has Wii Motion Plus inside, so let's use it. Place the Wiimote face down on a table or other stable level surface and keep it still for a few seconds. But I, it it checked it off. No, it, but it 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 checked it checked it off. I I didn't. I didn't even finish reading the dis the instructions. <laughs> Hang on, maybe I should go. Hang on. Uh, I don't want it to think the world is upside down. <laughs> Stream Kyle, welcome in. Thank you for joining us. And cows, great to have you here as well. Hope you've had a wonderful weekend, my friends. All right, so I need to select this and then Oh, well that was a horrible idea because now it has no idea where the cursor is. Right? Maybe the cursor isn't on this screen anyway. At the foot of Hellstone Mountain sits a well that used to provide an endless supply of water to a nearby town for many decades. Rumor has it that the well is so deep it reaches the depths of hell. It's pretty deep. One year during a drought, the well finally dried up and the doorway to the underworld was opened. The Ghost Queen led her minions through the well to bring chaos and destruction to the world. The undead laid waste to the nearby town and its surroundings within a week. You are a ghost slayer from a neighboring town, fighting evil ghosts and maleficent spirits is in your blood. Sensing the imminent danger, you embark on a mission to subdue the Ghost Queen and stop her path of destruction once and for all. Point at the screen with the Wii Remote and press the A button. Hold the Wii Remote so the palm covers the connection between Wii Motion Plus accessories and the... Oh, I don't have that. Attack by swinging the re remote forward in a fast motion.
The health icon indicates how much life you have left. It'll be... Well, that went away too fast. When the power bar accumulates to one bar full... What? It, everything's going too fast? I can't read any of the direct directions. I mean, I think I got it. Alright. Can can I end the tutorial, please? Oh. Who needs directions? They're just spoilers, Cal's. Good point. What a good point. What was I what what was I even thinking? Who am I? What have I done with Brownie? So I think this is going to be an on-rails kind of experience. Oh, here we go. I hope it doesn't matter that I'm left-handed. I hope it doesn't put me at a significant disadvantage. My reach isn't as far as it looks like. I thought that guy was going to pose a much greater threat. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just waving my sword and waiting for the enemies to walk into it. <laughs> uh... Oh. Lost some health. My my blocking was not good. All right, victory. A hundred percent. Nice. Hey, we got an HP. Does that mean my... So, I don't know if that means that my total HP is increased by one, or I just got one back. I guess we'll see. My total's increased, it looks like. Excellent.
All right, well, let's keep going. No, my strategy is a bad one. No. So my strategy was to try and not worry too much about the blocking and just, uh, and just wait and, uh, beat the enemy to the punch. Like, wait for them to swing and then take them out before they had a chance to, uh, to connect. I, and I kind of think that, well, I don't know. It seemed like that was going to work for a moment. Oh my goodness. That's what I was, uh, that's what I was trying to do. Down to one HP again. This guy looks looks tougher. No. Uh. This game may require greater reflexes than I actually possess. <laughs> it's better than the dancing game, though. At least with this game, I hit my desk. At least with this game, there is like a, uh, there is a meaningful connection between what I do with the Wii Remote and what happens on screen, which I cannot say for the dancing game. game is so tough. I need to get better at blocking. No! No! Oh, 
I just say I need to get better at blocking and immediately fail to block three attacks. This might be, this might be a very, very long playthrough. <laughs> It's that, it's the overhead strike is just the thing that I, that's my, uh, that's my greatest weakness. It should be the easiest thing to block. I think I might have I think I might have an easier time going out and engaging in an actual sword fight. <laughs> The controls are that horrible. They're actually not... It's actually not really that bad. I'm just... The game moves kind of fast. I don't have the reflexes required for this one. Hey, Buddha Fingers, welcome in. Are you a ghost with a floating sword? How can they hit you? They, uh, they're, they're ghost slayers. No!
Oh my goodness. I'm just so I'm just so terribly slow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this one. <laughs> I don't, I know what ghost busting is. I don't know what ghost infringing is. I don't know I don't know how to defend against uh, when they when they strike on my left hand side like that. Infringing makes me feel good. Uh, <laughs> uh. This has so far been a very careless attempt, and yet I've somehow been doing pretty well. Come 
victory. 100%. Finally. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Klinger Winger. The, 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 less, the less I try, the better I do. <laughs> Thank you for the trophies, cows. We know this is supposed to be, like, first-person view, but we can't help but feel that this is just the adventure of this sword floating around finding random things to slice. That is 100% the interpretation I am now going with. All right, onward, next level. Again, trying to get the trying to get the strike in before they have time to finish their attack. It doesn't really work. Okay, and the power move is like a fruit basically just like a free hit. I'm not prepared for this enemy. <laughs> I don't even understand how that boss works. Oh. Oh, my poor arm. The sword is, is up to the hilt in debt and has cut a contract for swashbuckling spooky ghosts. Oh. Thank you. 
I got kind of lucky there. Brownie is the king of the preemptive fly swatter fly swatter swipe. I'm in the same situation I was just a moment ago. Ugh. I don't... I don't have health to spare, so I can't figure out how this boss is supposed to work. There we go. Just use my power move on it, of course. Why would I do anything else? Victory. We got a new sword. I would have uh, preferred to have unlocked another HP. If the game if the game gave me choices, if the game gave me choices of what to uh, what to unlock, I would 100% just choose more health every single time. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you for the trophies, cows. They're start they're starting us off with this boss fight. This is, is this supposed to be my opportunity to learn how to do this? Okay, blocking is like kind of mandatory with the boss, I see now. They worked hard on these controls. They want to make sure I actually use them sometime. I don't understand. I just, uh, I just don't understand. This game is exhausting. <laughs> Hey, Dynamite. Welcome in. 
Hope you've had a good weekend, my friend. Playing, uh, I'm trying to trying to beat Ghost Slayer. It's a wild time, this one. It's motion, it's all motion controls. <laughs> I may not be uh, I might not be playing the game quite as uh, quite the way it was intended. <laughs> one of those Wii games of the promise of all motion controls is is revealed to be less fun than you were promised at launch. The thing is, like, the sword movement is actually, like, it's pretty one for one. Like, I really can't, I really can't complain about imprecision with, like, the sword controls. My big problem is that I'm just my person by if if you had decent reaction times, I think that you could do really well with this game. <laughs> my reaction times is so poor that I have that it's very difficult for me to block. I haven't exactly figured out the Made me waste my uh my uh my power strike. It's hard to figure out the um It's hard to figure out the uh, the the diagonals. I don't have a very good feel for blocking on the diagonals. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna play Splatterhouse on uh, Wednesday. I've never played that one before. We'll finally find out you're a better gamer than me, because you're gonna beat it and I never have. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. I probably won't beat it the first night, but we'll stick with it and, uh, you know, hopefully eventually beat it. Dr. Roblox... Blocknik? <laughs> Uh, that's the thing everyone always dreamed of wielding a sword. In battle, but no one ever considered that we have to block at some point. <laughs> I mean, if only my character had been clever enough to carry a shield. I'm only using one hand for the Wii Remote anyway. Shield will require two animated objects on on screen. played a Wii game Dynamite says I'm not so I'm I'm really not a very big fan of motion controls I uh I played a couple Wii titles but I haven't played a whole lot of them Victory! Let's go! Oh, that was that was rough. Uh, we came out when we just graduated high school, uh, so we played a lot of them. Never really enjoyed the motion controls, except in the easy games like Wii Sports. To be honest, Claire says, in games with combat or something, 
Just made us understand how bad a reaction time was. Hey, it sounds like I'm in good company then. <laughs> I just, uh, I wasn't playing many games at the time. Uh, when the, I went to, uh, I, so I graduated high school a couple years into the GameCube. And when I went to college, I didn't, uh, I didn't keep up with with games at all so like the gamecube wrapped and the wii came out and uh, i did end up getting a wii but the only thing i really played on it was mario kart played a lot of mario kart wii but uh i don't know if i've played any other wii games um i didn't play the mario galaxy games i didn't play the metroid prime or the uh, the Zelda games. Um, yeah, I just... Mario Kart Wii is the only one that I really spend any time with, I think. There might be something else. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, can't, I can't remember anything else. When I went to college, I just took my Super Nintendo and uh, a handful of old favorites. So all my, uh, pretty much, pretty much all my gaming for uh, for all that time was just uh, it was just replaying stuff that I liked on the Super Nintendo. I have a Wii in my house that a friend didn't take with them years ago. Is there any resale value in it? Um, I don't know. Probably. No, we're relating to this heavily. Uh, games I thought were interesting were the arcade-style rail shooters, Buddha Finger says. They make good use of the motion controls. I would give something like that a go. Like, I think they put some of the House of the Dead games on the Wii. That might be fun to uh, give it a try. I was big into Wii Sports, Cow says, but not much else that was uh, motion controls. Got okay at Smash Brothers Brawl, but that didn't involve any motion controls. There's also, oh, the, yeah, there's a Dead Space Rail shooter. Yeah, I think uh, Sir Rack of Lamb um, was talking about that. Might be worth taking a look at. Dead Space... Extraction? I've heard that the, uh, I've heard the Metroid Prime games are good with the motion controls, but they're, but it makes them really easy. I think that's what I heard about Resident Evil 4 as well. That it's fun with the motion controls, but really easy. All right, that puts us uh, that puts us halfway through.
Yeah, that's what. Well, to see, that's what you have to do. That's my one big piece of strategy. When they're holding their sword like horizontal, then that's when I know to 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 aim for their legs. Extraction. Also enjoyed no more heroes. That might not be audience appropriate. I have given some consideration to like I'm playing all these WiiWare games for Halloween and it's like we could just just do uh wouldn't it be fun to just try and do the whole WiiWare library but there's at least one M-rated game that I'm not gonna play on stream <laughs> There's a strong bad game on Beware. I actually don't know that character. I know the game you're, talk you're talking about because I've, I've, you know, I've looked through the library a bit. Strong Bad is from Homestar Runner. Yeah, I've never seen that. Oh, we were so close. We might have been two enemies away from the end of this one. <laughs> you were either into Homestar or you weren't, Claire says. <laughs> time getting a read on this. Uh, Alright, Dynamite, thank you for stopping in. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll catch you later, and be well until then, my friend. This could be a long, long playthrough. We'll, we'll see. some fears 
I had some fears on level two that I wasn't ever gonna make it through, but I, somehow I keep clearing levels, so. Might go better than we think. Savage Bokoblin Crusher, welcome in. Good to see you again. And uh, I can't say for sure. Maybe another hour before we switch to tears. It's about one o'clock my time. I'd like to start it up by two. So probably an hour or less. It's so nice of them to go one at a time. How polite these guys are. <laughs> Just because they're evil spirits doesn't mean they have to go all ghostal. I was thinking that was a play on hostile. Victory! That that boss was nothing to worry about. Let's go. Ow, I banged my elbow. I've got myself I've got myself uh wrapped too tightly <laughs> inside all this furniture. <laughs> oh. Hey, we got an HP. That's that's what we want. Stage six, we got three stages left. to a bad start here.
I didn't really fight this guy before. I cheesed him with the with the power strike. He's tough, but he's not impossible. Wow, that guy was weak. I didn't know he was so weak. This is not, like, this game is not the worst thing ever, you know? Like. I'm really terrible at blocking those diagonal strikes. That cost me a lot of health. I'm actually really surprised. Like, I'm really impressed by the motion controls. I don't like them, but they're, they're way more precise than I would have imagined them to be. Victory! We cleared another level! It didn't even take that many tries. Thank you for the trophies, cows. But you see, here's the thing. I keep talking about how close we are to done. But we do have other difficulty options, so <laughs> this might this might be this could be a game we play for longer. We'll just have to see.
Oops. <laughs> That's actually good that that happened. I had a window I wanted to close on my uh, computer here. No, we held we held on to that one piece of health for a while. Seventy five percent of the way through.
Victory! All right. Hey, that worked out really well. Hey, Derek Ocean, welcome in. Welcome to Ghost Slayer, our We Wear title of the night. It is an all motion control sword fighting on rails experience. I think it's actually kind of a cool game. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty trash at it, which I think make which I think makes the game seem much worse than it actually is. But I actually think it's kind of not bad. Blood Cave. All right, I think this is the last stage. Shout out, Frowny. That guy's body language is a little tough to read. His horizontal strike and his uh, diagonal strike look a lot alike. It sounds interesting. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty neat game. I think that I think if I'd played this at the right time, I I might have really fallen in love with it. Watch Beetlejuice tonight. That movie never gets old. Derek says, "Right on." Hardly even trying. So, so dark. Oh, it's the final boss. So what are we?
victory. Let's go. I love it. I love that little musical sting. <laughs> All right. Ghost Slayer. Hey. Beautiful. Thank you for the trophies, cows. It's very satisfying. All right. Well, I mean... Oh, it's a credit roll. That's the whole sort of base level game. We didn't unlock everything, so there's definitely reason to play a little bit more. I felt like I was starting to get a, a handle on the uh, controls a little bit there toward the end. You know, I still waggle the remote, the Wiimote around like all wildly when I'm striking, but I did a little better at blocking there toward the end. Better than not trying to block at all, which was how I started. <laughs> So we'll, uh, we'll at least take a look at, you know, the next difficulty or whatever. Yeah, I heard they're making a sequel. I'll, uh, you know, we'll see. I probably won't get around to watching it for a very long time. Unless, you know, everyone on the planet tells me it's amazing. But I kind of doubt. I kind of have my doubts. So back into our save file here. Yeah, all right. So let's see what difficulty two looks like. We get to keep all of our stuff. We get to keep all of our stuff. That's cool. said Keaton is coming back, which I'm glad. I hope it's good. It's one of my favorite movies ever. We shall see. Oh, hang on. I can skip the tutorial, right? Yeah. What am I doing? There's a musical, which I'd love to see, Derek says. So the unarmed enemy, it's I really wasn't even aware they could attack. I don't think any of them ever survived long enough on our uh, our level one difficulty playthrough. <laughs> It 
seems very similar, but I think I think the enemies do have a little bit more health. It's pretty close to just being the same game, though. <laughs> Probably shouldn't judge it on based on stage one though. It's not exactly like stage one has a lot going on. Oh, look at that sword. And that's some squiggly nonsense. I I don't know if the swords actually have different properties or if there's or it's just cosmetic. I I kinda think it's probably just cosmetic. Walmart has the cartoon complete collection, Derek says. I gotta buy that soon. <laughs> I don't remember anything about the Beetlejuice cartoon. I'm sure that I saw it a few times, but I just... Nothing, nothing about it has stayed in my memory. The magic from this uh, sword is super, looks super powerful. Uh, Derek says, I watched that show as a kid. It was wild. <laughs>
have to get to that message in just a moment. It's a that one's a little bit long. Take your time. Thank you. Thank you. So you, we can. Our magic will attack multiple enemies. I wasn't sure about that. I'm glad I tested it. moving smoothly through difficulty too um derek says i was shopping today a new winter jacket at the goodwill i uh, went to a used store someone sold a lot of ghostbusters comics i bought them all wow uh a lot of credit so i didn't pay for any oh nice pre-ordered mario wonder uh which GameStop's doing an 11 p.m release right on Wow, we got another power bar. I didn't think that was going to be a possibility. I thought three would be the maximum for sure. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a successful day of shopping. I'm not familiar with the Ghostbusters uh, comics. I don't think I've ever read one. I'm guessing that it's like the, the cartoon. I think there are a total of 23. You mean there was... They printed a total of 23 issues, or you bought 23? You got 23. That's, uh, that's like, oh, that's like two years worth of issues, right? I guess so, assuming it's monthly. Fruit is so much cheaper down here, StatCat says. Terrible, terrible job of blocking I did there. a friend play Mario Wonder today? I'll, uh, I'll be watching nothing from it until I play it myself.
Older ones are like the cartoon. Newer ones are a variety. There's a demo at Walmart. I gotta stay away from Walmart. I just had a ton of magic to plow through the end of the stage there. <laughs> the acquiring the ranks and the levels means nothing to me. <laughs> uh, I right, I like. I don't. I, these are not things I can use. <laughs> I took so many pictures of their cats here, Stat Cat says. Always advisable. them is so rotund all the other cats are a healthy weight that's kind of the situation with my sister's cats i think she's got one that uh has an eating problem and I just kind of ballooned up to an unhealthy weight and like they try to keep them on a restrict they've tried to keep them on a restricted diet but it, it can be tough when you have a a bunch of a bunch of pets to to balance and apparently when they uh when they put him on the limited diet, he rebelled by uh, beginning to eat their bath towels. <laughs> uh, hey, loyal, welcome in. Just getting home from work. Um, Eleven thirty, my time. You are uh, a couple hours behind me. Pleasure to have you here, though, Loyal. Thank you for the spin of the wheel. The wheel is largely new. It's got a whole bunch of new stuff on it. So we'll give it a spin and see what I land on. It's got some uh, got some returning items. All the candy. I didn't realize that was the pattern, but all the all the candy returned. And then the there's six things that are new. And that's not new. That's the candy buttons. <laughs> To perhaps perhaps the weakest item on the wheel the cinnamon candy buttons
They look like this. They're supposed to be fiery hot. They claim to be extremely hot at one end, but I don't know. I, we're working our way up the we're working our way up the thermometer, up the row of candy, and we're not very far along. So so far they're pretty underwhelming. But we will uh, have a row of three. <laughs> Such is life. The wheel is looking cool. We got some cool stuff on it. We actually just landed on the jerky. And I was really scared of the jerky. Because its packaging like indicated that it was going to be fiendishly hot. And it's pretty hot. But it, nothing, unsurvivor, nothing unsur unsurvivable, fortunately. I thought it was going to be like the sunflower seeds heat level. But it was, uh, it was much more manageable. Alright, so... Three buttons. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh. All right. There, it's a little bit of a cinnamon kick. It wasn't. I was gonna say it's nothing, but it wasn't quite nothing. Good idea to put the candy button there, cause the mini wheel cause it to come in more often. <clears throat> I mean, that's uh, that's actually the way I've had it. I didn't move that. I would like to think that, but. I don't know if that's actually played out like that in practice. Where's Mr. Sk Isaac's where uh, Isaac's where he always is loyal. Did his did his alien costume fool you? <laughs> if you look if you look right here, you can see it's still Isaac underneath. <laughs> It's a good, it's a convincing costume. Hey, Tommy, welcome in. Missed out on the weekend frowny sessions over the course of the last two days? Well, you have nothing to worry about. There were no weekend sessions, Tommy. <laughs> I'm very happy to have you here with us tonight. But uh, no, I usually don't stream on Saturdays, and I, uh, and I skipped last night. I skipped Sunday. Yeah, so the uh, the sauces that are on the wheel now, I got this like package of a whole bunch of these tiny little bottles of sauce, and they sort of range from the they look like the this is a very wide range from very mild to very hot. So I've got some of the milder options on there now, and, I, and as I use these bottles up, they will they'll be replaced with hotter and hotter. Uh, hotter and hotter ones. All right, back into the game. So uh, this is this is Ghost Slayer. It is our WiiWare selection for the night. It's an all motion control on rails sword fighting adventure. And we've actually been through the game. We've actually already been all the way through the game on a normal or regular difficulty one. It doesn't name the difficulties. They're just numbered one, two, and three. So we went through on difficulty one, and now we're on difficulty two. Which has so far not been too much more difficult. Anything fun for dinner? I had uh, fried rice, Loyal. We had, we had beef fried rice. It was wonderful. Beef was a little chewy, but it had a great flavor nonetheless. I'm 
hurt so badly. Well, we were only halfway through the level, too. Playing Ghostbusters on the Xbox One, such a fun game. I haven't uh, haven't checked that one out yet. I bought the version that came out on the Switch. Found it in a clearance bin. So I went ahead and picked it up. I haven't ever played it. Oh, that guy's so mean. That guy damaged me? I don't believe it. I should have just spammed my magic attack. We were right there at the end of the stage. key part of my strategy is to bonk them on the head with a vertical slash to get them into that defensive position so that I can just swipe at their knees. If I can, if I can get them into that, uh, into that horizontal blocking position, then... Life's going to get real rough for him real quick. I'm 
victory. That, that one skeleton there got robbed. Some of those blocks counted in my favor and they really should not have. Hey, Zinshan. Great to, uh, great to have you with us tonight. Welcome in. Hope you've been doing well. Ah, this looks like a cool game. Is it on rails? It is, it is. Um, this is a Ghost Slayer. It's a WiiWare title. We're doing all, we're doing all spooky WiiWare games for Halloween. Every, the, uh, the first part of every stream is a, is a different, well, I'm working my way through WiiWare titles, so that it's not always different, but we've been moving through them pretty much alphabetically. And uh, yeah, it's actually kind of a cool game. Um, the sword play is, you know, it's actually really good. I'm terrible at it, but like it, it is really good at like reading your movements for the most part. And the way the attacks and blocks work makes sense. Am I on the wrong level? No. I thought I'd somehow gone back a level. Oops. Off to a bad start. So many diagonal, so many diagonals. Ah, uh, I loved red steel. Derek says. Uh, you do the same thing in that one. Has guns too. I've never played that one. Hey Key, did you come in before? Did I miss? Did I miss you before? Welcome, my uh, welcome in Key, or good night rather. I hope you're doing well, and I'm uh, very grateful to have you stop by. Sometimes I just like popping in to say good night. All right, fair enough. Uh, thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for stopping in, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. next time. I think I'm going to clear this stage. Then we'll take a BRB and we'll do Tears of the Kingdom for the rest of the night. And we'll pick this up again tomorrow. We'll take another look at it. Because I think uh, you know, I think I could probably make it through the whole game. And then we could get all the unlockables. I seem to be doing mostly all right with it. I'm, you know, I'm fumbling this level here a bit, but. I'm 
fumbling this level here quite a bit. I'm in a terrible position health-wise. Oh no. Oh, I got rough. Uh, Red Steel was like when the Wii first came out. They made a second one, which was good too, Derek says. Right on. Hey, Angelus. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Tell us about your uh, stream, my friend. What were you doing and how did it go for you? As always, we'd love to hear. So let's say Colot. I don't know what that is. The horror game that turned out to be more like a walking simulator in the freezing Russian cold. That sounds like that could be a good time. You know, I don't really much for the walking, uh, for the walking simulator genre, but. The location has got me interested. We are playing Ghost Slayer. This is an on-rails sword fighting game. It's all motion controlled. It's our WiiWare selection of the night. And it's actually pretty decent. I'm not very good at it. It's certainly grown on me a lot though. I've gotten, I feel like I've gotten a bit better as the night has progressed. was given OBS fits. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, wrong button. Glad I didn't take damage there. OBS hates the graphically intensive newer games. Oh, well, I, I don't have to worry about that on my end then. <laughs> Oops. Next 
instantly hit pause, I guess. Alright, let's spam our magic to get through. <laughs> Victory! Ooh, and an extra HP. Alright, that's where we're going to leave off with this one, though. I know we've only got two stages left, but there's not really any way of telling how long they're going to take me. <laughs> and then we'll probably go ahead and look at difficulty three as well, because why not? Um, so we'll pick this up again tomorrow night. It's been a, it's been an interesting time. It's a pretty decent game. It's a pretty it's a pretty cool game. Thank you for the trophies, uh, cows. Thank you for the GG. I had problems with Alan Wake and that game isn't new, Angela says. I guess you never can tell, right? Thank you, Angelus, for the GG. Yeah, this has been this has been pretty good. I won't uh it's it's grown on me a lot. I I an hour and a half ago, I wouldn't have said very nice things about it, but I'm uh, I'm starting to connect with it a bit, um, and it's turned out to be a pretty cool game. So we'll probably finish it up tomorrow. I'm gonna take that uh, BRB. We're gonna switch over to the Switch, and we're gonna play some uh, Tears of the Kingdom. That's why we're that's why we're cutting this one off where we are. Um, it's because I started late, and I want to make sure I have plenty of time to actually make progress in Tears tonight. So uh, thank you for enjoying this with me. Um, like I said, we'll play it tomorrow. First part of the stream. Tomorrow's going to be this and Jump King. You know, keeping in mind we're playing a WiiWare title at the start of every stream. This is what I intend for the schedule to kind of look like. we got Tears of the Kingdom, Jump King, and Splatterhouse this week. Thank you, Derek, for the GG. I'm getting my King Kong game in the in the mail tomorrow. Hope that uh, I hope that does not disappoint. All right, my friends, I'm gonna step away. I will be back with you in just a few minutes after the BRB.